You know, any program, any counseling program is going to teach you a level of counseling skills, counseling theories, how to actually engage with your clients, how to do note taking, all the mechanics. What Denver Seminary does that I think is more unique is that person of the therapist framework. And the focus is actually on the counselor, not the client, which again just helps the client to get really good services. Just had a lot of rough experiences throughout high school, got involved with the wrong types of crowds of people, um, and just really got to see like some of the depravity of people, but also like the beauty that can come from like intimate sharing. There are there are lots of different professors with lots of different tracks that they've that they've specialized in. So I think it's a matter of getting exposed to all the different types of teachers, all the different types of paths that are there, and seeing what you think fits for you. And then you can go talk to that professor and see kind of, you know, what is that about? Is this, does this make sense for me? Does this, does this not? Um, so in that sense, with all the different variety of what people have already done, you, you can kind of get a sense of what you think you like. Somebody in my life actually told me that they thought I would be a good therapist. And I was a little, I was a little aimless, so I thought I'll try anything, and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with what I'm learning and the way that I get to help people, and it's just been the best thing ever. Actually, the thing that you need to tend to the most is not this academic thing, or not learning the skills or learning the theories, but it's actually paying attention to yourself because you're the biggest instrument in the room. Here at Denver Seminary, uh, we believe that you, you absolutely matter. Uh, who you are matters, and uh, your history matters. And that part of yourself will also greatly influence the way that you work with clients, um, the things that you're passionate about, the areas in which you advocate for others. I know there's a lot of desire within the local community, but I would also say something that people resource pretty often is their professors, is their supervisors. Those connections that you make are usually not just professional connections, there's a personal element to them. If you asked any of my students, one thing that they do learn from me is that person of the therapist uh, kind of framework, because I embed it in every single class. You're going to learn a lot about yourself, you're going to learn lots of different skills, you're going to learn about the profession, you're going to learn if you want to go into community counseling or if you want to go into private practice or if you want to start up your own private practice or whatever you want to do like there's people here with resources that can help you do it but i think there are a lot of expectations that you have going in about how the process is going to go and what it's going to feel like to sit down with somebody and run a counseling session and you learn all these things in classes and um, sometimes that's just not the way that things play out so I think it's been a good surprise but I've had to I've had to learn to be really flexible um, in working with people because people are wonderfully unpredictable. I felt more congruent in who I was so I didn't feel like I was doing the work of counseling I was getting to be with my clients. It's just a small school who's trying to equip students to do the work of God and then also at the same time equip people to get better help, understand themselves and understand other people better. Um, and that's just a big goal, I think, in general. So I, I would say that rubs off on the clients as they come in. Um, what you will find here is a partnership. Um, it's worth thinking through, but just know that you do get a high touch, a personal touch. Uh, you will be known here um, as you move through your graduate studies. I don't know if I'm ever gonna retire. Like, yeah, I'm gonna sh slow down, I'm sure, but I don't know if I ever really wanna retire. I don't know what I'd do because I think I'm gonna love doing this and doing this, I think is gonna make me fulfilled and happy and hopefully help lots and lots and lots of people. I obviously will hopefully keep growing and becoming a better therapist and I'm sure my first session wasn't the most amazing, but it was really impactful for me and super powerful to just be in the room with somebody else who was willing to trust me and share pieces of their story.